Hey everybody, call me Felix, and less than a month ago, we enjoyed a truly wonderful gastronomic experience at a prime sushi and steak restaurant by the famous Pauai Lake at Jiao Tu Natural Cuisine. We had some really fantastic sushi, wagyu cubes, and USDA ribeye steak cooked to perfection. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and click away on the far right hand corner. That day by Pauai Lake was sincerely one of my major highlights in my stay here in Ilocos Norte. We had such an awesome time enjoying the food and the ambiance so much, a little too much, as we started to draw strange associations with the food, and these scenes did not make the final cut of the video. First off, Cousin JP started comparing Wagyu cubes to spam, only 100 times better than spam. And given that we let the steak sit out a bit too long just for capturing great shots for you, it started to taste that way for even yours truly. In between our main course and dessert, the Jiao Tu crew gave complimentary homemade vanilla ice cream. And we honestly raved about vanilla ice cream with a few interesting words, none more interesting than what Warren had to say about it. Keep watching to find out, and I hope you find this deleted scenes compilation as funny as we did while it was happening. Enjoy! Alright! Yeah, so this is our view, and that's our food. View, food, food, view. Oh, I got them mixed up. <laughs> but you know what? That's what happens. I mean, there you go. I didn't mix this up with special effects, everyone. I wish I, I wish I was that gifted, but I'm not. My gosh, this is Warren and Gio's first date. Oh. Okay, on that note, everyone, I don't care. Wagyu cubes. Look at the presentation of this. Can we try it together? Too pretty to eat. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna get some of this oil here, some of that sauce, a reduction sauce. JP just tried it anyway. Sorry. Eating. Butter. Oh mm, god. Mm. Whoa! Butter, eh? Holy shnikes. Okay, so I do have three Wagyu cubes here. One of my favorite things, especially with a steak house that offers different types of steak and different types of cuts uh -huh. is to always compare them. Uh -huh. We have like one after the other. So, this is like a steak degustation. So once again, I'm back to the Wagyu cubes and again, I was established that they basically taste like beef butter. It doesn't even taste like steak. Because steak generally is like unapologetically beefy and substantial and especially once you get that dry aging you definitely know you're eating steak. Yeah. This, you don't even know you're eating steak. So, you don't hate me for this, but it's like, a, because it's put together so well, whatever, mm -hmm. that, that type of meat, that wagyu, mm -hmm. because it's cold, it tastes yes. like a times 100 spam. I don't know if Ooh. I can do, I mean, is that like giving it a bad deal, but with butter and like, with that, I don't even right. know what that means. Well, try, try, <laughs> it, try it. 100 times spam. Try it though. I mean, no. I mean. Oh my goodness. That really juices though. Mm -hmm. I think where you're Maybe getting it's, that. It's hotter. Wait, wait, wait. I think where you're getting that is because you know how spam sometimes has that juicy bit when like you bite into yeah. it. Or the texture. Like and it's fatty and juicy and like there. Mm, yeah. Maybe that is what Like I mean. once I hit that, like the second time, I think this was like the third time I've hit it. All that juice actually came out. But guys, I, I love this. Their mm -hmm. USDA ribeye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Soft, juicy, beefy, mm -hmm. delicious. I, the Wagyu is great, but mm -hmm. I really like this. Especially, and that's the reason and it's why. Rare. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Yum. So, rib, I mean, I'm going to enjoy, like, because I get, think with Wagyu, you get a different experience because it's all about the marbling. You guys it's all about have the fat. Appetite, they're called the fisherman. Fisherman! Come here! <laughs> I think the soju has gotten too bad. <laughs> Well, anyway, because the marbling, of course, so like if, like Wagyu is all about the marbling. It's all about the fat content there. So what you get is a different type of beef experience that you don't generally get out of steak. Because steak is, you know, just about the beef, but this is about the marbling. Just imagine when if it's just out of the pan. I'm sure it will melt in your mouth. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because it's already Maybe that's so what it was. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's not right out of the pan. But yeah. delicious regardless. Yeah. The wagyu is delicious. Regardless. So, I mean, I have to say, though, we did for presentation, we kind of let this sit out a little yeah. bit, but it's still amazing. For you all. Yeah, for, for you, you all. <laughs> so I just so want to say it. that because of our presentation, we gave that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's why JP said it's spam times a hundred or whatever. That it's only because of 
presentation mm. that we let, let it out for a bit. That's what I think I will go for next. That's what I have eyes on now is ribeye steak. Dun, da, da, da. We already started it though. Guess we can't wait. It looks so good. Mary finished it. Look. Yeah. I'm just I kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. I already had three slices of it. At least honest. And you're already done? At least she's honest. This is already so good. You can like find this kind of steak here in Dilokos. I mm. swear. It's so difficult. That's, that's true. true. <laughs> oh, you're man crushing. <laughs> I've been noticing. Man crushing. No, it's a true oh, story. Funny. I mean, that's why we just totally agree at the same time. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's see if it passes the spot. Knifey spoony tests. Ah, uh, it's like the Simpsons episode segment. Um, boy, the Korean is so good, I will cook it this way. <laughs> maybe you should try it. It's really it soft, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't cook it at all, just like they did. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, we do need knives. Just the steak with no sauce. Let's try this ribeye out. So, Rolling. this is vanilla ice cream? That's yeah. right. Wow, to clear, cleanse our palate. Or to cast the meal, really. Cast the meal, yeah. <laughs> it's delicious, Andre. Thank you. Yes. It's homemade photos, really. Homemade! What? Oh, homemade. This is homemade ice cream? Yes. Why, of oh course. Why, would it, why wouldn't it be, right? I didn't see this on the menu at all, JP. They have this homemade is, ice cream. Is this on the secret menu, I think? <laughs> just, was this <laughs> on the secret menu? Because we didn't know that you had homemade ice cream. Looks delicious. She doesn't know what to say. <laughs> she doesn't know what to say. <laughs> oh my god. Star's truck. Oh my god. Ice cream. Mm, it's delicious. Oh, do it for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, ice cream. It's really good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's really good. You can taste it's homemade. JP. That's how we think we're paying. We're getting paper. Guys, we're not getting paper. It's really freaking delicious here. Homemade ice cream. If you have a chance to stop here, please do. It's awesome. Jeez. And this is got about the right texture too because it's not too soft and it's not too frozen. So it Try is it this one made ice cream. All right, straight up vanilla ice cream. Is it delicious? Yeah, right. There's, it's very fresh. It's very creamy. Very home. It's homemade. You can tell it's homemade because it doesn't taste like any other ice cream. The oh. vanilla, like there's no vanilla bean that's left in here. Kind of say it's vanilla bean ice cream, but you can definitely get a lot of vanilla essence. Yes. Fresh Yum. vanilla essence. Hmm. Good, no? It's just vanilla ice cream, but it's nice, sweet, creamy. Not the stuff you get in the supermarket for no. sure. It's homemade ice cream. Hmm. Sorry, guys, I've had to compare. Um, it might be like a Hagen dazs uh, for me. I don't know for you, but Whoa. ooh, Hagen dazs huh? Straight from the that's very huge compliment. It tastes a little like a Hagen dazs vanilla ice cream. Straight from the from the creamery. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. All right. Yum. Hagen dazs straight out of the creamery. <coughs> no. I can believe it. I can. I can it definitely I can. has because. It definitely homemade. It almost has as if it's like um, a Jeez. bread pudding's kind of taste. Yes, exactly. It has a. It's not just vanilla. It's like a. There's something so like a burnt sugar sweetness. I, I like know. the. It's had a bready sweetness. Is really what I get. Bread pudding sweetness. I'm not, a, I'm not a vanilla ice cream person. It's really buttery. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Like, it's a buttery creamy. Yes. Like bread pudding, kind of like um, butter cake mm. kind of taste. Yes. Butter cake taste without the butter. Spot on. Or butter mm. cake taste without any semblance of cake. As you can see, it's full of cream. I want some more. Please. <laughs> Please, uh, I want, Please some, I want more. some more. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. I wonder if it's good, no? Yeah. Well, you know what? Warren, is it good? The ice cube. You didn't have it? Is it melting and I want it now? Oh my god, Warren, you gotta taste it. It's just, it's just like every comforting like Danish cookie, yes. bread pudding, butter cake, uh, kind of pa taste out of the ice cream. Shortbread. Mm -hmm. It's very bready. Buttery shortbread. Yeah. In a cream. Yes. Right? Like that. Delicious. Like that. 
Lasang ensure with vanilla. What? What a blasphemy is that? Ensure? What's wrong with you? What? You got too much soju. You're cut off. What? Do you have like off? Boy, do you have like a bout of osteoporosis or something? Did you try to ensure? What is the last one? What is? What is someone your age drinking Ensure for? What has he tasted Ensure vanilla before? What did you taste Ensure vanilla? Of everything that you said, guys, he just said Ensure. Warren, you're too young to be drinking Ensure to begin with. Exactly. It's only for people with bone issues. Ensure is for people. Yeah, like like Ensure. That's probably why it's gone. You do. Drink Ensure. Maybe he's drinking the Ensure stuff. That's that why it's always gone. Home. You drink Ensure only you're if you're drinking over my insure, 80. Warren, huh? <laughs> I thought you were drinking my MP, but you're drinking my Ensure. <laughs> Did you just put Ensure in the soju? <laughs> <laughs> the yogurt know. soju was full of Ensure too. <laughs> oh, and that strange, strange note. We're waiting for our cheesecake. Some of us are. I think yeah. the vanilla ice cream has whetted my appetite again. Second wind. That's good. Second wind. Yay. That's a good description though. And sure. And that does it for our outtake selection at Jiao Tu Natural Cuisine by Pauai Lake. If you haven't checked out that video, and I swear it's a mouth-watering one if you love sushi and steak, click on the Locos Norte playlist on the far right-hand corner to see more of our food and travel-related adventures around the province. And there's plenty more where that came from. Please subscribe for more of our escapades and hit that bell icon to get notifications on when we release a new video. Until next time, keep cool but care, and remember, the empire never ended. <laughs>